Apple's reorganization policy. Somehow, early on reorganizations became part of the Apple culture. They happened every three to six months and came from Apple's basic legs of understanding that people need stability in order to be able to work together. The problem with reorganization is that they seem to happen overnight and many times they are handled by groups being demolished and people being told to go to human resources and find a new job at Apple. And so the sense is at Apple that if you don't like where you are, don't worry because three to six months from now everything is going to be different. At the same time though, the continual reorganizations means that nobody has long-term responsibility for anything. Make a bad decision? Who cares? By the time the bad news arrives, you'll be gone and someone else will have to handle the problems. If you don't like your job at Apple, watch it because unless you are in some backwater that no one cares about and is severely understaffed, your job may be gone in a second and you may be on the street with one or two months to find a job at Apple. Today, the sense of enemy, alienation, disconnectedness at Apple is major. The difference between the old Apple, which was crazy, and the new Apple is enemy. People are alienated. Apple still gets the bright young people. They come into Apple and instead of getting all fired up about something, they go through one or two reorganizations and get disorientated. I don't hear people who are really happy to be at Apple anymore. They wonder why they are there because they have had two bosses in six months and their job has changed twice. It's easy to mix up groups and end up not knowing anyone. That's the real problem.